What is up Bruins Nation, I'm your man Parker and today we're going to be previewing the 2024 NHL Draft for the Boston Bruins and with that being said, this is a team who might not have a lot of picks coming into the draft as of the current moment of making this video, but when we look at this team from an outside perspective, they have the potential to move into quite a few draft slots and we'll talk about that in just a little bit here, but let's start with what they do have. Boston this year has three picks, the fourth round, the fifth round, and the sixth round. They've traded away the other ones. Could be a problem from this draft. I don't really think so. This draft isn't necessarily the most deep draft we've seen, especially from years past. However, when we look at it from sort of that outside perspective, the Bruins still have the potential to get a, quite a few good assets, especially late in this draft, that I think could fly under the radar. And we'll talk about them in just a little bit. But let's start here with what could happen, right? We've seen it time and time again, report after report. It's just seeming to be closer and closer that the Ottawa Senators will trade that first round pick, the 25th overall, to Boston in exchange for Linus Allmark of some sort. So in that sense, you know, you got to take you got to take in consideration as this is a draft preview that that pick will end up being traded. So we're going to talk about it here. Let's start with that first round pick, assuming Boston can get it. What are you looking at? And for me, let's start here. My personal pick is a guy like Tarek. Tarek Parasak, and for him, 5'11", 180, but where he really shines in is, is in his offensive production. 68 games played, 43 goals, 62 assists, making for 105 points with the Prince George Cougars in the WHL. This is a guy that has the ability to finish, and when he finishes, he finishes hard. This is what the Bruins have been looking for. You know, as a right winger, not necessarily what you're looking for for the Bruins, but this is the one thing I want to remind everyone, especially in the early rounds, you pick to what you to, you pick for the best player. You don't pick for what you want. If, when you pick for what you want, then you get yourself into problems. You miss out on the key players. We've seen it with a couple teams last year. You know, we saw it with the Mishkov problem where a lot of teams ended up taking defensemen instead. This has been the problem for a lot of teams. If you're smart, you take the best player and you work with it. For me, that's Tarek Parasak here. But at the same time, you know, he's a guy that can finish. He's a guy that you're looking for on the wing to play the full 200-foot game. But he has that offensive touch. This is a guy that I think the Bruins should really think about if they do end up acquiring the 25th pick from Ottawa. This is, this is, this is the real deal. And I think... As a late round pick, you're not going to get a guy much better than this. But we we'll move on here to the second guy for the 25th-ish slot round. Uh, and I'm going to take Michael Bransing Negard. He's a guy who's 6'1", 198. His numbers aren't great. 41 games played, 8 goals, 10 assists, 18 points in the Hockey All-Svenskan League. But at the same time, this is a guy who turns it up a notch when he needs to. We've seen it with when he plays with Norway in the IHF events. He just seems like a different player, a lights out player. He's a guy that catches your attention. It doesn't matter what tournament he's in, whether he's playing with older guys, younger guys, whatever it might be. He's a guy that's going to catch your attention. He's a really solid pickup for whichever team gets him. If he can play the way he plays with a team like Norway, if he plays like he does with more IK, could be a different player, but for me, uh, Nigard is a guy who's lights out when he needs to be in my, and I think if for the Bruins, it's exactly what you're looking for. He might be a little bit of a streaky player, but man, when he's on, he's on. He's a great player, full 200 foot game, can really put the puck in the back of the net when he needs to. So for the Bruins, Nigard is definitely a pick to really take note of. He is a very solid player, but definitely could be a guy that might end up going bust, right? When we think about it, you as a late round pick, you're a late round first round pick, especially, you're looking to, for him to be an impact player. I don't think he'll be that right away, but at the same time, he has the potential to build in. Think of a guy like Fabian Lysel. He's a guy that can definitely build into the lineup. Will be interesting to keep note of if the Bruins go after this pick. He's another solid option at this spot. The next one here, I think, is a little bit of a stretch. I think if Boston can get him, it'd be a great pickup. That is a guy like Adam Juracek, 6'2", 168, but 19 games played, zero goals, one assist, one point in the Czech Extra Liga. And for him... He's a guy that unfortunately just couldn't play this year. He got hurt in the, in the juniors, you know, first game in, he, he played, he hurt his knee and it was all over. The turn was all over for him. The rest of the season was all over for him. So with that being said, he's a little bit cheaper on the draft stock side, right? So when we think about it, you're probably going to get a little bit more value out of him if he can return to his, his, his pre-injury form. And I think he will. So 
in my view, if you can get a guy like Juracek, especially late, I think it's a great pickup. I'm looking at it from an outside perspective, and I would love him. I've been following this guy for years. Him and his brother, these two guys are the real deal. Look for him, I think, to probably go early 10s uh, in this draft. But if he finds a way to fall back down, this is a guy that the Bruins would love. Defensive player, plays the full 200-foot ice, but he's solid. He's a very solid shutdown defender when you need him to be, but he also picks it up on the offensive side. This is a guy definitely to take note of and definitely to watch for if the Bruins end up acquiring this pick. If they can get a guy like Yurichek, this one is all over for the Bruins. They really won this draft. But now let's talk about what is more likely to happen, and there's no trade for that first-round pick. I think it is definitely a possibility, but we'll play it safe here. We'll say there's nothing, no, no trades, no nothing. So let's talk about what the Bruins actually have. And that's in round four, 122nd overall. We'll start here with Jonathan Morello, 6'3", 192 from the St. Michael's Buzzers of the Ontario Junior Hockey League. And this is a guy who's 50 games played this year, 25 goals, 32 assists, 57 points. He is a very solid player. But at the same time, you know, he's going to be highly touted, especially in those late rounds where you're looking for a guy to really steal. I like his game. He plays full, once again, 200 foot game, but where he's really crafty is in his ability to play make and his ability to finish. And I think that's what the Bruins are looking for. A player that can that has the skate, the skating ability to play the full ice. I think that this is a guy who could really take it to the next notch in Boston. You know, sort of similar to a guy like Matt Patra, for example. He might be a guy that could really slot in. I I think Morello is a good option for the Bruins, especially with that round four pick. I think if you're looking for a guy, Morello, if he falls that 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 far down, he's an excellent pickup. But once again, it will be interesting to see if he does fall that far because teams will be looking at him, especially towards the late rounds. I think after about pick 100, look for this guy to keep to be picked. I think anything before that might be a little bit early. But for me, Morello is a good late round pick that you can really look at for the Bruins on the fourth round to, to sort of steal and, and pick up in that sense. Uh, he's a center as well. So for the Bruins, if you are picking based off of position, which we did talk about at the start, it's okay to pick in the later rounds based on what you need. But at the start, you always want to pick basically who the best player is. In my opinion, Parasak was that. But for round four, you want to pick positionally. I think it's a great fit for the Bruins to pick up a center, uh, especially one that could help them down the road. I think Morello is that guy. But the next pick here for the 122nd round or 22nd overall is Jack Pridham, right winger here, 6'2, 174, 54 games played, 23 goals, 26 assists, totaling 49 points with the West Kelowna Warriors and the BCHL. This is a guy that this has really grown his game into a 200 foot game you'll hear me talk a lot about that that's sort of the guys that i look for who can play the full game fit within monty's structure that's exactly what you're looking for and then these are the guys that can do it pritam also is going to bu next year boston university so you get that little bit of, of, of a connection almost that you're looking for and i think it might seem like a bit of a stretch but at the end of the day, if you're a guy that's going to Boston already, you're closer to where the atmosphere is, you might just be a little bit better, especially once you transition into the AHL, NHL, you already have a little bit of familiarity with the, with the surroundings. So that might help you in that sense. So a guy like Pridham, you know, he's, he's a full, he's a full 200 foot player. He plays the game the right way. You know, he has offense when he needs to, but he's really defensively sound first, uh, which is what I look for in a player. So for me, Jack Pridham, great spot, right winger, 122nd, I think is probably where he'll land, right around there. Could be a great pickup for the Bruin. Bruins. And the next guy I'm going to talk about is, once again, another little bit of a stretch. I try, I'm trying to go sort of two picks that I think could fall around there, and then the third pick, sort of a little bit of a stretch pick. That's a guy like Jacob Bataglia, six foot, 205 pounds, 67 games played, 31 goals, 34 assists, 65 points with the Kingston Frontenacs in the OHL. This is a guy that's really solid, but I do think he's going to go a little bit earlier. You know, just the way he plays the game is really special. He has he has the brain of a, a great hockey player, great hockey IQ, but he's also very talented on the ice. I don't know if he'll fall this far down. I think you're probably looking about him in the 90s to, to sort of 80s range. But if he does fall this far to the Bruins, pick him up. He's a great asset to the Bruins. A right winger, you know, who's going to... Whereas the Bruins really do need that. I think his game will translate pretty well to the NHL, especially under Montgomery's system. He'd be a great addition to the Bruins. And I think that's what these are one of the guys that you're sort of looking for in those late rounds to sort of steal and pick up. Bataglia is that kind of guy. 
The next one with the fifth over, fifth round pick, that's going to be the 154th overall pick. My first pick is Jan Nakarainen, and this one is a little bit of a stretch pick, but I really like this guy at this spot. 6'1", 192, he's from Finland, 39 games played, 6 goals, 14 assists in the Finnish Elite League, and this is a guy with side high. This is a guy that is solid all around. He's filled out. He knows how to play the, the game the right way. He's much more of a, of a sort of a, a heavy power forward type shot. He's sort of the guys that you want on the Bruins to play that third and fourth line. I think he's a really solid player, especially in the fifth round. He's sort of a guy that's fallen off a lot of scouts radar. We saw him in the juniors. He looked really good. Just unfortunately, his game didn't quite translate to the Finnish Elite League. So his draft stock definitely fell a little bit, but... I think you give him a couple of years in Providence, you let him grow his game out. You know, you're looking at probably a replacement for a guy like a Matt Potra on that on that third line. Potra, of course, will move up as the years go on. But I think you sort of you can slot him anywhere. You can slot him on the right side too. You know, I think of a guy like Trent Frederick who might be on the move. He's a guy that I think could Jan Nock Ryan could really fill a spot as that power forward. You know, you put him on a line with a guy like Beecher, put him on a line like Brazo. That's just a power line that's gonna cause a lot of problems for defenders two big bodies who can play down low that's what you're looking for every guy like Nakarainen I really do like him if the Bruins can go out and get him but now we'll transition to another guy who sort of impressed me at the world juniors and that is Owen Allard and this was a guy who coming in I was shocked frankly just completely shocked he was on the Canadian junior team but by some miracle it made it worked and it made sense and once we saw him in action it was just like he was a different player. This is Owen Allard, center, 6'2", 201, 55 games played, 18 goals, 26 assists, 44 points with the Saint, the Sioux Greyhounds here, and he, Sioux St. Marie Greyhounds at the OHL. But he is a great player. And let me tell you why, frankly, to start here. This is a guy that when you think of a guy like Brad Marchand, combined with the skating ability of a guy like Kucherov, with the playmaking of really whoever you want this is just a guy who who's a grinder who plays the game the right way he's a really really good player that sort of falls under the radar in terms of the stats but for me you know I was looking through the list trying to figure out who I was going to take for this one and I saw his name and I'm like yeah he shouldn't fall that low but for the Bruins if you can pick this kind of guy up he is an electric player. He plays the game with energy. He plays the game the right way. He's going to finish checks. He's a big body. It's exactly what the Bruins are looking for here. Owen Allard is one of my favorite picks at 154. I think if you can get him even lower, even better. I'm putting him at 154 because I want to make sure the Bruins get this guy. But in my opinion, you know, you can put him even probably steal him at 186 with that six round pick, which we'll get to in a second. But this is a really solid guy. And I think at the end of the day for the Bruins, if you're looking for a guy, Owen Allard might just be that pick. Now we're moving along here to the third uh, option for that 154. And this one, once again, we talked about, we like to sort of take that stretch pick. And for me, that's a guy like Frankie Morelli. And this is a guy who's a defender, 5'11", 185, 60 games played, 9 goals, 16 assists with the Ottawa 67s in the OHL. But this is a guy who's just, when you think of hockey IQ, this is your guy. Think of a guy like Crosby in terms of hockey IQ. That's what Morelli brings to whatever team is going to play on the 67s right now. But this is a guy, when I tell you he knows what he's doing, he's calm with the puck, he looks the part, he plays the part, he just has to fill out. This is exactly it. Late round steal, this is who you're looking for. Frankie Morelli is the kind of guy who once he grows and once he sort of fills out, he's going to be a top six, top four defender in the NHL in no time. And I think when you're looking at bottom round steals, Frankie Morelli might be that guy. Round five, 154, you know, I, I see him going around the 120 range. I think when we look at the other guys up in 120, it, it's tough to put him over him. But Morelli is the kind of guy who, who's going to step into a big role for whatever team he gets drafted by. It's just a matter of time. And I really do like his game. I've been watching him since he was a kid. He's a great pick. He's a great pickup for whichever team gets him. Um, but I'd highly recommend for the Bruins to get him and go out and get him because he is a very solid pick uh, for whoever picks him up in the long term. The next one here is the sixth round pick. That's 186 overall. And I'm going to start here by saying now we're going to get nitpicky. And this is where, 
you know, you sort of look for stuff you need. And for the Bruins, that's sort of an offensive player. That's a guy with size. That's a guy with speed. And let's start here with none other than Nathan Aspinall. Six foot seven, 190 pounds. Remember, six seven, 190, room to fill out. These guys are, when they're really tall, they're really skinny. So lots of room to grow for a guy like Aspinall. And I think when we see his game, you can sort of transition it to a guy like maybe in like a Tage Thompson but he's a guy, when I look to him, I think, you know, he's got room to grow. He's got ability to skate. He's got a shot. 65 games played this year. 18 goals, 16 assists, 34 points with the Flint Firebirds. This is a guy who's in his second year in the OHL. But he's a guy that's very solid. And I think, in general, when we look at a team like the Bruins, what do they need? A little bit of size. Six foot seven is going to be a guy that can push a lot of push another lot of guys around, right? So when he fills out, he's only 190 pounds right now. He's six foot seven. Once he fills out, it's going to be lights out. And I think on the left wing side too, you know, you give him a couple of years, say three or four years. By that point, Marshawn's probably gone. You could sort of see him slot into that second line, third line role for the Bruins out of a six round pick who's really probably not going to go much earlier than that. It'd be a great pickup for the Bruins. And I think that's definitely a guy to keep your eye out uh, out for on in this draft is a guy like Nathan Aspinall. Next one is Miroslav Satan Jr. Another guy, six foot seven, 190 pounds. We just talked about the same sort of build. This is 26 games played, 14 goals, 16 assists, 30 points with HC Slovan Bratislava in the U20 Slovak Extra Liga. But this is once again another guy who I think we should really look for. You know, he didn't quite get the, the double IHF experience he was hoping for. Uh, former double IHF Hall of Famer, right? So you have that sort of son of the, the Hall of Famer. But he's a guy that has the IQ to play. He just has to fill out, build his game up a little bit more. And I think he's going to be a dangerous player, especially with the size. You can't buy size. You can buy talent. You can buy weight. Eventually, you can buy a guy that's going to fill out. But you can't buy size. And that's one of the things I really preach, especially when you're looking at a late round pick. It's not every day you get a guy that's six foot seven, especially in the late rounds. Two guys here, six, six foot seven, who I think can really fill out. That's an interesting thing for the Bruins to look at. And the last one here that we'll talk about is Peter Repchik from uh, Drummondville Vol Voltageers in the Quebec Junior Major Hockey League. And he's a guy six foot 192, but he's a guy that can score a lot of goals. So 54 games played, 30 goals, 31 assists for 61 points. And, you know, he's a solid player. And I think in general, that's what you want to look for out of a guy like Repchik. He's going to put pucks in the back of the net. He's going to provide some offense. He's going to play some decent defense. But for him, he's going to score a lot of goals. And that's what the Bruins are looking for, especially from a center. You know, will he step right into an NHL uniform? Probably not. But are you expecting that out of a sixth, out of a sixth round pick? Probably not. So for him, give him a couple years, let him fill out. Maybe he can find his defensive game down in Providence for a little bit. Maybe even Maine. You never know what he's going to turn into years to come. But I do think Repchik likely will go a little bit higher, probably looking around the 160, 165 range. But time will tell, of course, where he ends up. I think all these picks are excellent players, especially for the Bruins, who might not be looking for that high-end talent at this year's draft, but a guy that can definitely help them years down the road. I think outside of maybe that first-round pick, you know, if you go with a guy like Parasak or even a guy like Nygaard or even Juracek, right? You might be able to get them to an NHL level by the end of the season. I don't think they're right away plugging talents, but of course, time will tell with the Bruins have lots to, lots to think about as we move towards the draft. But with that, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like, you're subscribing, tell all your friends and be sure to be on the lookout for the black and gold hockey podcast coming on Wednesday. Until next time, see ya.